ball. Yeah, why? Well, I, I would change it up until they showed me a reason to do so. Throwing again on second and ten. Stafford looks for Beckham again. This time he finds him. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. He was out there waving his arms. When you got a quarterback out of the pocket looking for any help, I guess waving the arms is helpful. It certainly is because you got to get his attention because now you're in scramble drill. So everyone's adjusting their routes, finding open space, and he found the right spot for the completion. Well, he was hit as he threw it there, and that one winds up incomplete. Yes, sir. How about an out of boy there on first down? Got his hand in and knocked it away. On second and ten, Stafford. It's caught by OBJ. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Throwing again to Stafford. And he takes a shot on the release, as this will be incomplete. They've given up a few first downs on this drive, but getting the incompletion there, that should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide. To throw once more on second and ten. Stafford. And Woods has it complete. And he's got this down to the 35. So many times in my career I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing. But as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. Now a first down throw. Stafford. Incomplete. 16 seconds now on the clock. Well, he certainly did a nice job improvising there, extending the play, hoping someone would come open downfield, but they never did. Stafford looks to throw again. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off by Jason Barrett. He's at the 40, the 20. And into the end zone. Pick six for the 49er D as they score the touchdown. Charles, I'm looking at you, and understandably, your mouth is wide open in disbelief. What were they thinking? That's going to be one of the great mysteries, but I do know this. When they went out on offense, I will guarantee they told them, don't just make anticipatory throws. Make sure you see it before you throw it. Didn't happen here. Trying to protect that lead, and now they gave it up. Four seconds, all that remain here in this first half as the kick gets away. Oh, the return is Brandon Powell. And he'll be out of bounds here just past the 20-yard line. First half in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. And we welcome you back now alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon getting set for quarter number three here. Second half kickoff, and they trail here as we resume play. And that'll be a little too hot to handle as it will skip through the end zone for a touchback here. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. They do trail, but they have a chance to possess the football first to try and do something about it. And that certainly makes it something of an important drive for them because is it going to win the game? No, but you have to do something to bring some life to your sideline. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. Now Stafford. That's out to the flat for Akers. And he'll get to the 29-yard line, brought down there. Throwing on third down, Stafford. He'll dump this off to Akers. And he's going to be stopped here a few yards short of the first as the tackle is made at the 33. On 
Fourth down, Stafford. That's to his running back, complete. And he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Again, it's Stafford. Caught left side, it's Beckham. And he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45 in enemy territory. So from inside Niner territory now, this is first and 10 at the 45-yard line. Stafford's throw complete there to Beckham. And just a yard to go here on second down. And now the 49ers signal for a timeout defensively. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. Here's second and a yard. Now Stafford. That'll be caught. It's oh, Cup. Yeah. Touchdown, LA. Cooper Cup, 35 yards. And the Rams have tied the game with the extra point to come. Extra point by Gain is up and good. And that will put them on top here in the third. After the touchdown, it's Gay to kick this one away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And he's going to be out of bounds on the return. Not a great return. They'll start back around the 17. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And they'll be working from behind now following the touchdown a moment ago on the opening drive of the half. I think the guys right now, as they go out on offense, they're zeroing in on one big key. They don't have to do anything differently just because they're down on the scoreboard now. The intent, still the same in what they plan to do on offense. Second down, seven. They'll keep it on the ground. Mitchell, and he'll get only a couple up to the 22. Tough day, tough sledding right there, and it's been that way the entire game. Not a whole lot of room to ramble for him. Yeah, you're right, it's been that way all afternoon. Didn't get a whole lot better there. And this is too far behind his man. He missed him, it's incomplete. How about some applause for the defense there? They forced him to throw that one into coverage, and just like that, they're staring at a fourth down. Well done. Garoppolo going to go on fourth down. Completes it to Samuel. The 40. 20. Touchdown, 49ers. Debo Samuel, 78 yards. And once again, the 49ers are back out in front. Pretty good response. They had given up the touchdown and the lead, but they struck back. And I love the way that they just saw it happen, took a quick exhale on the sidelines. So let's go get it back and fast. Let's go ahead and throw the ball downfield and get our own six points. A huge chunk play to regain that lead. Garoppolo looking to throw for it. Oh, that's in a double coverage and intercepted. Picked up by Jalen Ramsey. He's at the 50. He's at the 30. Past the 20. I'm only going to be out And he takes it all the way back. It's a pick two, if you will, as head play backfires in a big way. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. Here's Powell on the return. 
And a good earn as he'll be stopped. Really nicely run drive. But now the defense, what adjustments do they need to make in the passing game? Pass rush, pass rush, pass rush. <laughs> Whether it's the guys huh? up front, or maybe you bring additional guys, but you've got to disrupt the timing of them throwing the football. And we'll see if they can disrupt it here. Stafford now to throw. Rolling to his right. He'll check this down to Akers out of the backfield. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. And that's a tough one for the defense because the coverage was good downfield. He was forced to work his way out of the pocket to his right. Spotted his man on the sideline and got it to him to pick up the first down on third down. On first down at Stafford. It's caught. Beckham. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. down Stafford here now that'll be caught by Cup and yeah, he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard from the 38 Stafford he gets this into the hands of Cup once again from the 32 now here's first and ten to the air again Stafford They'll get this one to Cup complete. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. From the red zone now, Stafford. Then he'll find his target, Woods. It's complete. Three yards the gain there, second down. From the gun, here's Stafford. And he's got it. Got his man on the end route. Complete. The battle in the trenches never more important than right now. This is third and in inches. Now San Francisco going to call their second timeout. That's going to leave them with just one remaining here in this fourth quarter. Stafford on third down. And he's got his favorite target yet again. It's complete. And he picks up the first as he's able to take it down to the seven-yard line. They'll run here with Akers. And he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. The six-yard line, the line of scrimmage on second and goal. Again, it'll be Akers. And a minuscule gain of maybe a yard from the six to the five. A lot of tired bodies on that field, but this is a big play, third and goal. A shotgun snap for Stafford. And this is caught. He's got it. Touchdown, L.A. Van Jefferson there to make the grab. And the Rams are once again going to retake the lead. Extra point by Gain is up and good. And that will make this a four-point game. Following the touchdown, here's Gay to kick it away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. After the long touchdown drive we just saw, you wonder if maybe that's taken a little of the wind out of this offensive sales because they had it going pretty good last time, too. Had to sit over there for a little while, didn't they? You know, they were eager, amped up to get back on the field after just scoring, hoping to get the ball back quickly. That didn't happen, so I'd say come out 
just kind of get started again. You know, it doesn't have to be anything dramatic. Just get moving, get loose again, and see if they can get it downfield. Running game working. They'll stick with it on first down. He's to the 10. And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, San Francisco. Elijah Mitchell. 25 yards to the house. And the Niners on just two plays have taken the lead. Still an important piece of business to take care of, the extra point. He's got it, and this is indeed up to a three-point lead. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. Oh, the return is Powell. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. And that last drive, so effective in the passing game, resulting in the touchdown. Maybe not many people were focused on the trenches. There was good protection there. Excellent protection. So now, defensively, you've almost got to get down to those starters blocks like you're a sprinter. Get lower than those guys on offense and find a way to roar through them or around them to get into the face of the pass. Easier said than done, though. Way easier <laughs> said than done. But they've got to try something because right now, they're just cutting them to shreds. Stafford now to throw. I'm oh, not sure he saw the linebacker there as that's batted down and incomplete. So back-to-back -back incompletions now third and ten. And first things first, before you think about marching the ball down the field, you got to move the chains. You're exactly right. Got to get back into focus here. Get the first down. That's what's vital to them. An important play right here, third and ten. And I would expect pressure here. Now it's Stafford. Open man right side is cup complete. And he is going to have a Rams first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Now Stafford. That's into the hands of Akers complete. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. The Rams going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. some time right throw right side gonna be caught by Higby a gain of six there on first Brandon perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion they would have picked it off okay so they gave up the completion but I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync stayed in great communication and as he dragged across each zone you see a point in communicating there he is and they passed him off to each defender Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. So here's a first and 10 now, down inside the 20. He'll look to throw. He'll get this to Akers out of the backfield. He takes it across for the touchdown, and they've taken the lead late in the final minute of the fourth. Wow, wow. How many people are watching this one right here who gave up? Because that score, they might want to try and rush back into this stadium. <laughs> yeah, what looks like is going to be the game-deciding score, although a little bit of time left, so you can't count your chickens before they're hatched. Well, they better come back in here and watch this one, because you and I, we're not going anywhere. We want to see this one play out. Extra point to kick this one away. Pulls it in at the 13. And he's going to get this across the 20 as he's out of bounds at the 23.
The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. One possession game, <laughs> time very much a factor. How does the offense handle this situation? Well, in a lot of cases, they should be somewhat relaxed. And I know that's counterintuitive because this is a pressure situation. But this is Friday practice every week of the season. You go over this situation, having to go downfield, limited timeouts, got to get out of bounds and keep the drive going and set yourself up. Defensively, you can't just lay back and let them do whatever they want. So it is a cat and mouse deal here. How much pressure will the defense bring and how much pressure can the offense handle? We're going to find out. Garoppolo to throw. Taking a shot for Samuel. That's into a crowd and intercepted. A great read and it's picked off. And the Rams have just about sewn up this football game. When you talk about making winning plays, that is a winning play at this stage of the game to come up with that interception, huge. I like how you identified that because most people think winning plays are the offense trying to get it done. In this case, nursing a lead, they found a way to make a play on that side of the ball and maybe finish things off. And he's going to be out of bounds up past the five. A gain of six there on first. <laughs> Throwing here, Stafford. Looking left side and it's complete. He's at the 50. 30. Ooh, and he takes it in for the score on the game's final play. So it doesn't affect the outcome, but a little whipped cream on top to their ending. Or as our friends in Bayou Country would say, that's a little land, yeah, a little extra on top. So the L.A. Rams with a victory here. And it took a big fourth quarter to do it, but they were able to get the job done, and that's the bottom line. <laughs> no doubt about it. And let's face it, they had to be more than nervous in the fourth quarter. But a lot of that was their own doing. I think you observed during the game, their energy level just didn't seem to be there. But in the fourth quarter, somehow they dug deep and found that extra bit, right? That reserve tank, they hauled it out. Offense scored some points, defense helped, and lo and behold, maybe expend a little more energy than they expected to, but they'll take it. For my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry, I'm Brandon Gaunt. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. From Los Angeles, so long, everybody.